Hello and welcome to this uh, small tutorial on how to operate a one-piece flow board or someone call it tame the flow board. Um, my name is Wolfram Müller and I will lead you to the next uh, through the next minutes uh, just showing in practice how this works. Um, why do I do this? Uh, it's simply because um, many people are currently reading uh, the book I wrote with Steve uh, tendon. It's about hyperproductive knowledge work management and this uh, tame the flow boards, uh, tame the flow scrum is an essential part, uh, is a essential part. and um, many people really uh, want to know how it looks in practice. So what's this all about? It's all about reaching um, some goals. Um, the goal is in a team um, to eliminate uh, the negative multitasking completely. Um, the next goal is um, within a team there's always a local constraint and this local constraint has to be used um, in, an, in an optimal way and um, to use this constraint in an optimal way you have to start implementing something called full kit somehow a good um, preparation uh, someone call, some people call it a uh, definition of start and it's all about simplifying planning and priorities within the team so um, what you see here on the screen is somehow um, a cookbook a workbook on this there's a lot of text in but I don't want to go through this. Um, most of it is written in Tame the Flow. Um, but I want to show you um, a short overview on how a board uh, looks like we are talking about. Um, I think it's not completely new. Some people call it consider it done uh, board. Um, but we adjusted it a little and uh, really uh, make it very concrete. Um, the first column um, is somehow the backlog um, and only the part of the backlog that is really worked on. Um, it's um, often on this level you see the stories and the stories are ordered in a, in a clear ranked way. So um, each of these stories has a swim lane, a, a, a horizontal column or a row. Um, within this story you see the green ones, these are subtasks and it's typically done like this. This first story is already finished so our, all subtasks are here in this uh, area um, and you see here below some additional information. All the stories have some idea there's a, um, a small information about the size. We use here t-shirt sizes. Then you see who's responsible for this story. And you see um, the start date and the end date. So this is a complete information about one story, an already finished story. In the moment you finish a story, you can start the next one. That's uh, this, the number six here. You see it's a little bigger and uh, the responsible person is a different one. It's Thomas and here's the start date but no end date of course. In the moment you open a story, um, you put all known subtasks in this um, area here. Uh, typically it's uh, sorted in a logical way. So in this case, in the beginning, there were uh, the clarification subtask, the interface subtask, implementation tests, writing tests, and analyzing the data, um, and that's it. And normally it's in here, and each time uh, one person can start um, a subtask, he takes one, um, in this case he puts a name on the start date, and then it goes to testing or some, sometimes called in review. It can be um, in review too. Um, in this case, the reviewer is marked on 
um, if the review if the review fails it goes back if it's fixed it goes further again and in the case it's finished it goes um, to finished and then it gets the end date and to have you have complete information about everything in case it is blocked it gets blue or marked in some other way in this case the team sits together um, and makes um, um, a root cause analysis and adds um, some subtasks to fix the problem um, in the moment the fix uh, subtasks are finished then these subtasks can finish too and it goes on here um, in the moment you are finished or can't uh, you have people uh, that um, has nothing to do uh, then typically you challenge whether they really have nothing to do but in case um, it's really like this you open the next story and you start immediately doing uh, the subtasks important is uh, additionally these numbers on the head of the columns uh, this is a number of open um, stories so this board um, is extended here um, this is an example for a team with 16 developers so overall you have 11 um, cards in the development um, column and five in the um, review column but there are below there are more so this is all you need and the idea behind the one piece flow um, and the tame the flow board is uh, very easy to keep these numbers below uh, this uh, number of open stories as low as possible and these both together should be lower than um, the number of developers in your team so this is the idea behind and now I just want to show you um, how easy it can be done in practice I really like um, this tool here uh, this is my home page by the way but I don't want to show you this um, I really like a board that is available um, without any setup at all it's called scrummy so it's a dot com and you, you can just add uh, whatever uh, text strings afterwards the low board example 2015 in March and we have the 13th so immediately Scrummy builds up a board and gives you some hints how to use it well, here I show you whatever um, and you just can add new stories so um, this is my first story and it's about implementing the login function so now you have entered the story and what is uh, what has to be done next is of course you can add, add tasks the first task is typically um, scribble something and you can add more um, clarify requirements implement the service write some tests or and often forgotten write some documentation so this is what you have done uh, what you have to do to really implement this story so so now you have tasks and you can drag them around as you want um, if someone works on this you can drag it here so that's it um, there's not much more for scrummy you already have a working 
um, one piece flow or tame the flow board. Um, you now have entered uh, the first story with all their subtasks and um, I typically prefer this uh, settings grid and high contrast. Um, in this case you can add here new stories. So um, you implemented the login then um, set up the user interface. Um, the next may be um, built in some reporting functionality and uh, perhaps something like this um, review with the stakeholder. So now you defined um, the stories, it's somehow a backlog. You can reorder them, of course, but uh, typically it's done from top down. Um, so this is a preparation, you don't need more. Um, in this case here, someone already uh, prepared the subtasks. So typically that's a moment where you um, enter here some information. So change. Um, here it's normally an idea, that's the number one. This is maybe an, an L or an S story and Franz is doing the job and he started on 2014, third of the ones. So now we have all the management information and now it goes on. The first developer or someone um, um, who's available, he just takes the first card and pulls it in progress. In that moment, um, he enters his name, perhaps Thomas, and also the start date. So now everybody knows Thomas is working on this card. Um, perhaps someone else um, can work on this story too. So he takes the card and Anya is doing this. He starts on the same day or she starts on the same day. Fine with it. So that's it. Two persons are working and you have uh, one person more left. So typically they can't work on, on implementation without scribbles or requirements. So you have to open uh, the next card. So Franz, who's maybe a senior, he takes the number two. It's also a small and Franz opens it. But not today, perhaps on the second day. Because he's not available. So in this moment he starts and it's mainly the same, um, clarify requirements. If it's not done yet, um, it's always something like implementing um, in the same moment, writing the tests and documentation. So this is often very similar for all stories. So I know from teams, um, they prepared the cards already in advance. And if a story is open, they just have to um, uh, take a print and use the cards. So the, the next person who's available just takes this card and it's always the same. same. Um, he's taking it and because it's a little older, he started at this date. So that's it. So in the end, uh, Franz is uh, working here as senior. Perhaps he's in another team, also architect or something like that. So three people in the teams uh, can work. If someone is uh, finished, perhaps Thomas is finished, he just pulls his card to verify um, or in review and uh, now he's able to take the next. So 
So typically he takes the next card um, and of course it's always the same. I just picked the wrong one. So Thomas takes over. Thomas. So that's it. Now he's working on that. Anya is working on that. And Benjamin here. Sometimes it happens that Benjamin is finishing. So, and now he has nothing to do. But there is already one um, card to review. Um, in this case, it's Scribbles. So, I don't think he has to verify Scribbles. Um, but he can have a look whether Thomas has done everything right. Um, so, in this case, uh, Benjamin just uh, puts his name as reviewer. Um, that's it. So now you see Thomas worked on it, started and on here, and Benjamin reviewed it. And perhaps with a very short look, he says, oh, this is fine, everything's fine. So he can change um, it to finished and just enters the finish date. And that's it. So um, now he has nothing to do anymore. He can't write, uh, work on this card, so he takes a next one. Um, he's called Benjamin. So and perhaps it's, a, it's another day. So he's working on that. Yes, um, next day, um, Anya is finishing, and she waits for review too. In this moment. She starts to write tests. And you see it's always working from top down, from right to left. Uh, she takes over. And everybody knows she's working on that. She's working on that. Benjamin is still working on that. Um, but uh, Thomas is finishing his tasks. And he's waiting for a reviewer. In this moment, he has nothing to do, and typically um, he checks uh, what Anya did. So he takes over the review, and, and uh, it's not very long because the requirements always fits to the um, scribbles. So he can change immediately on the same day. And it's done. Um, he has still something to do because um, Benjamin waits for a review. So it's always from right to left, from top to down. So Thomas takes as a next review card this one. And yeah. In this moment he has a little to do. So and that's that's all about this stuff. Um, Thomas um, in this time is not really happy so he puts this card back in the in progress. He of course he comments what's wrong. Benjamin is working on this, is finishing here and sees oh shit huh? I have something uh, uh, that was reviewed and not so good. Um, in this case, he starts working on his old card again, and he, if he's finished, um, it goes back. And in the next moment, someone else is uh, finished with his task. He looks at the verified uh, to verify um, column. And if he can help Thomas to verify, he will do this. If not, he will check uh, below whether he can help there. And in the moment uh, something is finished, he puts it in the next column. And if it's finished, it just gets the end date. So, and, and this is the way the work flows. After a while, this is finished too. And it goes in review and um, the next one goes in progress. It goes 
and then it will go on like this. What's always important is counting the amount of cards that are in these two columns. In progress and verify, this is all the work in progress columns. So in this case, you will have um, three, column, uh, three cards in this work in progress area. If you have three um, developers, everything's fine. So the goal is always to keep the amount of open subtasks as low as possible. In the case someone can't work on here, uh, then it's allowed to open the next story. And this opening of the next story, this is typically done together with uh, a person that's responsible for the backlog. And um, I mentioned before the full kit manager. And in this case, someone opens a new story. Um, the full kit manager or the senior developer just has a look on it, uh, whether it's really well defined. And typically, he does not check just the next story. He also looks at the other stories that are on the board. So in case something is finished, um, a good prepared story is available. And that's it. That's a one piece flow Kanban board. It's very easy. I really like this Scrummy because you just can immediately start um, without configuring anything. It's everything there you need. Um, and you just can move and start cards. So uh, thank you for your attention. Um, if you want to go more in detail, you can um, ask for the workbook. Um, you can read Tame the Flow, of course, um, and the, have a, yeah, a nice evening or day and a lot of fun with it. Thank you. Bye bye.